divine truth frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session one. What's the difference between a spirit and a ghost? Are ghosts real? Well, yes, ghosts are real. Um, we need to look at the difference between the spirit person and a ghost. The reality is for most instances, a ghost is an apparition of the spirit person's body. In other words, it's the spirit manifesting a physical form so that a person can see the spirit with their own eyes. But because the spirit usually who does this is not in a very good condition, they can't gather together all of the substances of the universe in order to make a solid form. And so it's a form that you can see through. It's a form that's ghostly in its appearance. So for the majority of so-called ghost uh, viewings or sightings, it's the actual single person, a spirit, trying to manifest a physical body in order to display itself to a person on earth, but not managing energetically to create enough energy to do it. And as a result, the apparition is an apparition, ghostly type of apparition that the person on earth can see through. However, it is also possible for a group of spirits to manifest one ghostly apparition. So a group of spirits can, by the cooperative use of their own energy systems, gather together a form which they then uh, animate through their own expression. So a ghost, if you like, can also be a combination of a collective group of spirits manifesting enough energy in order to create an apparition of some kind. Now the reason why a group of spirits would be needed to do that is because the energy from one of those spirits is not strong enough to do it. And so what they do in order to generally, these kind of spirits, in order to scare somebody or to you know, influence somebody negatively, what they do is they get together as a band of spirits just for the purpose of creating the apparition and then animating the apparition so that a physical person can see it. So remember that the apparition is a physical manifestation of energy. It's not a spiritual energy. Which is, so it's very, very different than a person who is mediumistic who can see a spirit person's body. If we are mediumistic, we are actually looking at the spirit person's body, not an apparition of the spirit person's body, not a manifestation of the spirit person's body. Whereas an apparition that can be seen by the majority of people on the planet at any point in time, whether they're mediumistic or not, has to be created by the spirit as by drawing the elements of the, you know, the, in the surrounding parts of the physical universe together in such a warm way as to form an apparition that the individual can see, and then they animate such an apparition in order to communicate, whether it's just to communicate fear or to communicate some kind of other idea or concept. So, so ghosts are real in the sense that they are real happenings but they might not be a real person. They mm -hmm. might actually be the manifestation of a number, even hundreds and sometimes even thousands of persons who, who generate enough energy to manifest one ghost, if you like. So from what you're saying, if I see a ghost, I might be seeing a conglomeration of spirits that have gotten together to create an image mm. for my physical eyes to see. Correct. Or I might be seeing just the conglomeration of some physical energy that one spirit has gathered correct to represent themselves yes but, but in both cases they can't gather enough energy to make a solid form right yeah. yeah and what i see may not be actually how the spirit actually exactly appears and, and in most their likely spirit body. would not be right because it, it'll be a manifestation of their own creation so it's what they want you to see not necessarily what they actually are. Mm -hmm. yes. And you also made another distinction there where if I see, I can use my physical eyes, my sight, mm -hmm. to see a ghost or an apparition. Mm -hmm. But if I'm a medium, I might actually be able to see with my spirit senses another spirit. Exactly. And that's a different form of seeing. And that's not an apparition or a ghost. That's mm -hmm. actually seeing the physical body of the spirit itself in, in its spirit form, using your spirit body's eyes to see it. 
Yes. And your spirit body has eyes as, as well as other senses. And so it has the ability to sense, taste, touch, smell and everything, a spirit. And as a result, we have the ability to see all of these things. These abilities get turned off often during our childhood. But, uh, but uh, for the majority of people, um, they still remain under certain situations and conditions. Mm -hmm. So, for example, when we have heightened emotions, such as fear or other kinds of emotions, that's when we become very sensitive to seeing such things. Got you. Mm. And so when ooh, there's lots of stories, isn't there, about people seeing ghosts or seeing apparitions, mm. and really we could then... In those instances with those people, it could have been one of two things happening, couldn't it? Correct. Either this sight with the physical eyes yes. or a sight with a mediumistic ability. Yes. Yeah. And quite often for most people, they did have a sight with their mediumistic ability when they were children. This is why most children have, you know, friends that they talk to. and Imaginary friends. So-called yep. imaginary friends that they talk to and experience life with that are actually real people that surround the person. And, uh, but then as we as adults, we, we sort of force them to grow out of that. And so by the time a person's become an adult, generally it's not socially acceptable that they talk to invisible people. Mm -hmm. And so as a result of that, they shut down the ability. That being said, there are a lot of people who do have the ability as an adult to speak with the, the individual people that, uh, that are spirits. Mm -hmm. So there is, a, there is a lot of it still occurring. But unfortunately, you know, most of the time we've turned it down by the time we've become an adult. Great. Thank you. Thanks.